Once upon a time, many thousands of years ago, there was a mighty fort on the top of a hill. This was the Iron Age, a time of battles and legends. The people who lived there worshipped God, and in his honour, they built the first cathedral of all times. For their king, they built a royal castle. Sing to me, O Muse, the youth of many troubles. Sing through me and tell the story of their suffering, their trials and adventures and their homecoming. Piggy in the middle, bored and bored and boring, a football pitch, shops, a nightclub. Swimming centre, Burger King, McDonald's and KFC. Shop, 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 shop. We have strict adults, they swear at you and they get gobby with us. <laughs> More games, bigger park. Have a skate park. Bored and bored and boring. There's nothing to do. All right, all right, all right. Sharp, 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 sharp. <laughs> we got Gobby with him. And then he took away our football. Oh, you little rat. Stop playing football, yeah. We'll get the police involved. Boring, boring, boring. There's nothing to do. Way is in Old Serum. The only thing major that we have to do here is the youth centre, which is on on Wednesday nights. The youth centre makes everyone in Old Serum feel like they belong because it brings them all together and makes them feel like a part of the community, especially through our youth workers who are great to talk to and make us feel like we're actually welcome. So this is an interview with Tara and Shell. What do you guys like doing in your spare time? I have spare, spare time. time. That's quite a funny question. I don't yeah. have any. I don't um, have any. I've been a youth worker in Old Sarum for four years, I think. Four years? Yeah, approximately four, four years. years. But I've actually worked with young people for eight. Um, Michelle is one of my young people. Because I'm so young. Yeah. I have a part-time job in Argos. I'm also a full-time student and I study chemistry, biology, psychology, maths and further maths and I get my results tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking of making a career in either nursing or becoming a doctor. What is your most favourite food? Cheese. Pasta and pizza. in Old Serum and it's very different to Partridge Way. These are the poshest houses, there's an old school there and a park and most people hang out in Old Serum because it's got more environment, more people to hang out with but Partridge Way is boring. And some people think that it is chubby but it's not. Now they're building two, 42 houses and now we don't have anywhere to go. Sometimes people play, we have a good game of football. Yeah. Until they dug up our field. Yeah. But now it's just nowhere, nothing to do without getting kicked off up by other adults. And yeah. Some adults are nice. They're fine, they're the ones who let us play where we want. We let, let us hang out where we want, let us do what we want. 
But the other side, the bad side of the adults, you know, they're the ones that always tell us to move on, you know, say we can't play or hang out here. So, Tega, what do you, what, what's your opinions on Old Serum? Um, Old Serum is quiet. It's nice. It's a lovely, shall I say, community yeah. to live in. Yeah, I'll advise anybody to come to Old Serum. Most teenagers have a different view to you. Do you, do you understand why? Do you... Um, you know, I've been lived in Salisbury or Old Serum yeah. for long. I just moved to Old Serum, so... Okay. Um, so I don't really know about everybody's different opinion of you. Okay. Yeah, but I'll say I haven't experienced anything bad. Yeah, okay. So Old Serum is a nice place. What about the uh, things you've heard about um, kids giving uh, attitude to adults who uh, um, tell them off? Yeah, to me, that's bad because being African, yeah, you're taught to respect your your elders. Your elders. So yeah, I, I, I don't support it. I don't you support don't support it. it. It's nice, beautiful, neat, and lovely. Oh, I like how quiet it is, like around this. I thing. love the park because all of our friends go there. It's a really bad place to hang out if you're in the higher teens. Uh, I don't like. I don't like all the. Um, the adults complaining about having fun. Oh. I like going for dog walks in Old Serum. A lot Sarah. of people are frustrated about the fact that they're building a church before they're actually building a shop. I like Old Serum because so we have a nice fun park and it's fun. Like we have nothing to do around here apart from two parks. And it's just fields. small and calm, quiet. So this is the square and this is where I live. This is two people from Old Serum. Please, what do you have to say about this? I like the fun and I dislike. Like, I dislike that we can't go in the park. Watch your worst After seven o'clock. You! This? Oh, yeah, have a shop and have this big thing as a massive play area. That'd be awesome. Oh, oh my she said. Everything. What? She and said. my worst nightmare is hoovering the stairs. It has to be washing up. So guys, there are a few hangouts for kids around Old Serum and the estate. Uh, this is one of them, it's called The Ditches. Um, I'll just give them a little show round. So, it's just a nice hangout, basically. And uh, guys, um, what, do you, what do you think about The Ditches? Well, I don't normally come here, but I heard a dark story. Somebody died here. Okay. The water came out yeah. and then it squashed the little child. Well, Ben, this is a documentary, so I think we're meant to be serious in this. Yeah, but I am serious. Charlie's it! <laughs> Let us go out now and try skills at various sports.
so that our guests can tell their friends that at boxing, wrestling, jumping and running, there is no one who can beat us. Hi, I am from Altair and my name is Katrina. And now, today I'm going to tell you about how I feel. Today it is very nice weather, so I feel quite happy. We've got the tree life over there, we've got boys messing around, and then we've got like things where we can film. So, on to you. So, Michelle, do you know why this area is so like empty around here? Yeah, it's because the new community centre is going to be built there and it's once again been pushed back to 2015. Why 2015? Why can't they do it 2014? I have absolutely no idea. It's ridiculous that they keep pushing it back. It is. Like, we have nothing to do around here apart from two parks and a couple of fields. Plus the parks we're not actually even supposed to be in. Exactly. My name's Rachel and I'm the local PCSO for um, Old Serum. So my job is, as it says in my title, is to um, help look after the community and prevent crime. I've been here for two and a half years now um, and this is, ever since I started as a PCSO, this has always been my patch. Um, so it's, um, I take a lot of pride in my community and I'm very uh, precious about it. So I'll always look after everyone that I can and always um, we expect them to work closely with me so that we can make this a good place to live and a happy place to live. Just being here and speaking to the young people and working with you, then that is preventing crime in itself because you're able to speak to me. And, but we find the young people in Old Serum are pretty good and we don't have many issues up here. We're really lucky really and we've got some good young people who work really well together and work really well with us and the youth service. So. This is what we call a square. I live around here. I like it around here because there's lots of people to play with and there's a good environment. Well, this is gonna be a church, amazingly. I asked my dad the other day, why are they building a church around here? And his response to me was that it will be cheaper to build it around Old Sarah. <laughs> Since we are in this scary old bus stop, we will be telling spooky stories, won't we, Shell? Yep, won't we, Joe? There's a huge spider up there. I'm definitely, I'm definitely scared. She's panicking. This used to be the park that we used to play in, and um, now there's a new one. Um, still popular though. <laughs> On a windy day, let's go flying. There may be no trees to rest on, there may be no clouds to ride, but we'll have our wings and the wind will be with us. That's enough for me, that's enough for me.
it's a helmet. It's a really cool helmet. Uh, it, it's, it's, you can't hear through it, but it's like really good and it's like really nice. And I don't know where it is, but it's like there's a button where you get to pull these down. It's like, where is it? Nope. Where is it? It's this side. Okay. Nope. Get it? Where is it? Okay. This is a jet provost, which is a training aircraft, jet trainer, okay? Right, now what do you want to know? What would it be like for a person to see? Uh, it would be a little bit bumpy. Um, it could, you could probably feel a bit sick because it's going all over the place. Uh, a bit mainly uncomfortable. This is called a WASP helicopter. It's a helicopter that was used on the back of small ships and um, mainly its whole thing was to sink other ships. Quite fun. <laughs> cool. Can you imagine yourself? Could yeah. you fly? Do you think you could fly it? I reckon I could. <laughs> survivors of the war had reached their homes by now, and so put the perils of battle behind them. We have eaten together, listened to the lard that goes with good food, to our heart's content.